The city walls of Fondi are the most characteristic ancient monument of the city, meticulously constructed in polygonal masonry. In many parts of the wall, there is no attempt at regularity in the laying of the blocks in horizontal rows, yet it is nevertheless extremely precise. The faces of the blocks are smooth, so that no spaces remain between the blocks to be filled with splinters. The walls of Fondi have been retained to this day in the ancient layout, even though the city has repeatedly been burnt, abandoned and restored since the Middle Ages. In the time of Silla, partial reconstruction was carried out on gates, towers and walls, as can be gleaned from inscriptions incorporated within the walls themselves. Various phases can be identified in the construction that bear witness to the periods and the various innovations in the science of building. In the first construction, the Cyclopean walls, of which remarkable examples remain along Via degli Osci, Via dei Latini and the Portella, the early settlement was bordered by walls formed of enormous blocks placed on top of each other, without mortar, and at an incline made stable by the enormous weight of the blocks themselves. Some scholars date this wall as far back as 800 to 700 BC. In a second phase, polygonal construction can be seen in the blocks of at least five sides that slot together to form a reticulate that would be very difficult to attack, an example of which can be seen in Via Marconi. This is also a wall made without mortar. This type of construction suggests it could date to a period before the 4th century BC. The third phase of the walls saw the introduction of mortar, which came from the Middle East and reached Italy around the 3rd century BC. With the advent of mortar, it was discovered that it was possible to build walls of enormous sizes that were much more resistant than the first two phases using small blocks that were easily worked even by an individual builder. Cyclopean blocks and the consequent use of manual labor and lifting gear were no longer needed. An individual builder could obtain simple tools and construct imposing buildings. With the use of mortar, building techniques achieved results that have only been exceeded in modern times with the use of reinforced concrete. This third phase can be seen in all its splendor on the east side of the walls in Viale Regina Margherita and Via Giulia Gonzaga. The irregular masonry and the reticulatum constitute the most developed phase and are not limited in height or width. Inside, the wall is filled with mortar and splinters from working the blocks, which make it exceptionally resistant.